Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about how an old style dial thermostat works. Let's dig in and check it out. At its core, a thermostat is made up of two basic components, a thermometer and a switch. And the thermometer tells the switch, very similar to a light switch, when to turn on and when to turn off. So let's take it apart and find out how it actually does that. I'll remove the outer cover from the thermostat and I'll go ahead and remove the main center dial. And we can see inside we have a coil spring here which acts as the thermometer and we have a glass vial with liquid mercury that acts as the switch itself. Now we'll take them apart and look at each individually and how they respond together. This coil spring is actually made up of what we call a bimetal alloy. And a bimetal alloy is uh, essentially two different types of metal laminated together and different types of metal expand and contract at different rates at different temperatures. So as they do expand, this bottom one wants to expand faster than the top one, which causes the spring to get bigger or smaller depending on the temperature. Here we have our bimetal spring clamped on a pair of pliers and we're gonna put some heat on it with a torch just to see how it reacts to heat. So you can see just with a quick uh, burst from the torch, it expanded pretty far. And you can see already it's starting to go down just a little bit. Now that's an extreme example. It only really moves a couple fractions of an inch um, in the normal course of operation. But that fraction of an inch is enough to activate the switch as we need it to. Now let's take a look at the switch. Here we have the switch hooked up to a multimeter. So anytime the switch is turned on, the meter will beep, and when it's turned off, the meter will be silent. We're going to go ahead and turn our meter on, and as you can see here, when this vial is connected to this spring steel, and this coil turns around, it causes the vial to tip and make connection, turning the switch on. Off. On. So that's how a piece of spring steel acting as a thermometer combined with a glass vial with a bubble of liquid mercury come together to make a thermostat. If you want to learn more about how the mechanical world around you works on an everyday basis, hit subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about future videos. We'll see you next time.